This video is for business leaders who want to build growth mindset into their company culture. With rare exception, success typically takes years, sometimes decades, and most people never really achieve it. And the reason they, run, they don't achieve it is because they either run out of money or they quit before they achieve it. So a quick internet search showed me that, or will also show you, by the way, that uh, it'll take about 18 months to two years for, so, uh, sorry, 18 months to four years for most small businesses to become profitable. And Pixar was started in 1970, but didn't become profitable in, until 1995 when Toy Story came out 25 years later. So that gives you an idea of the reality that you're not being sold, especially if you're a small entrepreneur and people are promising you guaranteed results in a short time. That's the exception, not the rule, or a bold-faced lie, depending on who's saying it. So Carol Dweck showed us the path to staying in the game until we succeed, and it's called Growth Mindset. I'll put a link here for that video because it's really worth watching. It's a TED, TED Talk. Um, so growth mindset is basically praising or celebrating effort and uh, praising and celebrating the effort that leads to achievement rather than the achievement itself or how smart someone is. We can create culture or we can create a culture of growth mindset by celebrating any type of challenging effort regardless of the outcome or the results. So again, this is a celebration of that effort, the trying to achieve the results. Now, if you get the results, great. But if you don't, you still have a real reason to uh, celebrate, especially if you're trying to build growth mindset, because growth mindset is about the effort involved, not the outcome achieved. So that's why today's video is my happy half year celebration. This is the day in which I have put out a video every day, 183 times, 183 days consecutively. So that six months or a half year, even if this were a leap year, which it isn't. Next one is 2024, I believe. So to make growth mindset, to make a growth mindset celebration meaningful, there's, a th there's four elements you can add in. There's other ways to do this, but I really like this one because it makes a cool mnemonic and I love mnemonics. And essentially what you need to do is you need to be, the elements need to be significant and meaningful to the individuals, the, the group, the team involved. And that is that whatever you're celebrating to make it a growth mindset celebration, the thing that you're celebrating should be or have been challenging to whoever is celebrating it. So 183 videos, just as, as the example of what I've done, has not been easy because I've made them the day of, with rare exception, and some days I've actually made more than one uh, because I got behind. So it has been a challenge, so it's worthy of half-year celebrations. So what this is based on again, and I'm going to keep beating on this because this is so important. We, we lose track of this because everybody's like, oh, well, we should only celebrate success. Well, that's celebrating results, which you are not actually responsible for, at least not wholly. And that tends to put us in a fixed mindset. If we achieve success measured by some objective thing that includes variables like market and luck, as well as our effort, then it tends to put us in a, a different mindset that if we don't achieve that overt success of which we didn't have full control over, then we're somehow a failure. And that tends to undermine one's mindset and success going forward. So as I said, it's gotta be based on that, the effort being challenging for the person doing it based on effort and not their results and those efforts must have been within their control. So that's the other component. I like to talk about it as CAT, the choices you make, 
the actions you take and the time you bake. So that's the choices, the choices that you make, obviously is self-evident. The actions you take based on those choices and the time you spend acting on said choices is the only things you can control. You can't control the economy, the government, who's at war, whether there's a pandemic or not. You can't control any of that, but you can control, at least for the vast majority of us, what we do and for how long we do it and how consistently we do it. Ideally, every day or every business weekday is the ideal minimum, I would say, is every business weekday. So, right. So if you want to create a growth mindset culture in your company, celebrate with a party or ritual that generates these four things, an elevation of emotion or experiences. So this is anything that obviously makes people feel better, but also uh, louder, quieter could work, but mostly louder, brighter, more colors, just things that are exciting, stimulating, stimulating outside things, but also just the, the vibe, having an uplifted vibe, right? So that anything that ele elevates emotions or experiences creates pride in the effort in the individuals who achieved it, also creates insight for the participants, ideally. Now, you may not get all of these, but if you can get all of them, it's great. If you can't, try to get as many of these as possible. And the last one is a sense of connection between them. Our team, we did this. And that, that's, uh, that shared achievement, that sh shared success of effort. So I'll go over those one more time. That is elevated, insight, pride, sorry, elevation, pride, insight, and connection. If you want to learn more about that particular formula, I'll put another link here. It's the Heath brothers, what I'm calling their epic formula. They may hate me doing that, but check out the video that will go right there, which is uh, the book review of their book, The Power of Moments. So this has been Crush It Club 183, celebrating or celebrate challenging milestones. I wish you all a happy half year. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.